Hey guys, welcome back to the fourth episode of Brick Wars. So you guys voted between Steampunk and Perpetual Twilight, and the winner is Perpetual Twilight. The winner will be moving on to the final round of Brick Wars, and will have a chance to win the LEGO Spider-Man set. Today our guest judge is Barbershop Animations. Barbershop Animations creates several brick films from LEGO Batman to Deadpool to Doctor Who. Our first entry is Knife to a Gunfight LEGO Stop Motion. Hello everyone, I'm Connor, also known as Barbershop Animations, and I'll be your guest judge this episode. For me, the best parts of Knife to a Gunfight are the surprises. Crystal 499 does a great job of misdirecting the audience, and when the surprises hit, they completely catch you off guard. You never know who's going to live and who's going to die until the very end. I know it's quite short, but I really like the bus scene. Uh, it's got some good motion animation on the outside of the bus, plus the faces of the people who stare at the main character, it really provides a sense of unease. Once again, the only real flaw is more of a minor one, and it's just the sets are a bit bare for me. I would have preferred something to look at during the long pauses during the action, but that's just me. The film begins with a great knife animation sequence. I felt the brick film was slightly dark in some parts of the brick film. You could have lit it up a little bit, so that would have helped. This was a fantastic fight scene, and the brick film features a great twist at the end. The second entry into our contest is Pressure by LEGO user Brick Bros. The main thing I like about this brick film is the set. It looks to be made out of like flour or starch or something, but I think it looks really good and very realistic. Another great detail about this brick film is the cold. We already know it's cold because of the snowy environment, but the way the wounded rebel shakes and shivers, it really sells that effect. Not a lot of brick filmers do this, and I'm glad he went the extra mile. The only real bad thing I can say about this brick film, it's not even really a bad thing, to be honest. It's more just a nitpick. Uh, some people might even have a problem with this. It's just that one white plate that the Snow Trooper walks across. I didn't really like it. I think it would have been better if he had animated a walk cycle through the flower or the starch, or that substance, that, the snow, basically, as opposed to a plastic brick. But that is just me, and that does not take away from the fact that this is an absolutely amazing brick film. I'm so glad I didn't have to choose between these two brick films, and it's the audience that does, because it would be such a difficult decision to make. These are two absolutely amazing brick films, and both of them deserve to win. I felt the brick film was well made. I felt the brick film could have used a little bit louder voices, because it was pretty hard to hear them. 
Overall, the brick film features great set design, because I'm assuming this is Hoth. Alright guys, so those are the final two entries into Brick Wars. Next week we'll be conducting the finals. I'll have a link below taking you to the Brick Ultra website so you can cast your vote. Remember, comments will not count as votes, so you'll have to go to the Brick Ultra website to vote. Next episode, we'll be deciding who wins Brick Wars, and thanks to Barbershop's Animations for a guest judging with us. See you next time.